Through the night and into the early hours, flood defences were built and bolstered. Here in Northmore, Environment Agency workers were helped by residents to construct this 30-foot steel barrage. The owner of this home is facing the full force of flood water pouring in off the moorland. She was warned by police to leave her home. Um, there'll be no sleep for anyone here in this house. Um, we couldn't anyway, you just can't rest. You've just got to battle on and fight and hope that you can keep the waters at bay. And um, as I said, the Environment Agency, they're obviously doing all they possibly can at the moment. I just wish that things happened earlier. Everything has happened too late. Um, a fortnight ago, these things should have been put in preparation. The Environment Agency worked pretty much through the entire night trying to get this steel barrage in place and it looks like it's doing a good job so far. The feeling is that if they can stop the waters coming in on this side and into that house there then hopefully that'll stop it going in on this side of the village into other properties. But it's not just the Environment Agency that have been working throughout the night. Local residents have been uh, doing their bit too. I met up with a builder who used his dump truck to transport sandbags around the village. Yeah, horrendous. Yeah, like you said the water's coming out probably 20 mil an hour. So by tomorrow, I'll probably be flooded. The constant stream of lorries and equipment worked its way to the village overnight. A comforting sound to the many residents who chose to ignore police evacuation advice and instead either help out or sit tight during the severe weather. Joe Tidy, Sky News.